Hi, and welcome to episode 11 of the Guy Who Sews podcast. My name is Sean, and I come to you from coastal Virginia, where I live with my wife Amanda, our three dogs, Bandit, Copper, and Finley, and our turtle Rowena, who you may see swimming in the background once in a while. This is my podcast about quilting, and I upload a weekly podcast on Sunday mornings around 9am Eastern Time. And it just shows what I've been working on, what projects I've completed, you know, what fun purchases I've made, and so forth. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is so great to see you here with us today. I hope you enjoy the videos. Definitely go back and check out some of our previous episodes. But keep in mind that, you know, my first few ones, I was very, very nervous. And it's gotten significantly better since then. And if you like it, consider subscribing. Um, it helps me out immensely. And it also helps you find my content um, in in the future. If you're one of my returning viewers, thank you so much for coming back. It is great to see each and every one of you here um, each week. I always love hearing your comments and kind words. It just means the world to me. So let's move on to works in progress. This week was crazy. I was covering uh, my own desk and one of my colleagues who was out on vacation for the majority of the week. And I did not get a whole lot of sewing done at the beginning of the week. I was sitting there Thursday going, am I going to have anything to show on Sunday? But thankfully, I did have a deadline I needed to make. I went ahead and cut all the um, fabric out for the So Becca live that I did on Friday night, which I had a blast on. If you didn't catch that, definitely um, check that out. It was myself, Becca, and five other content creators. Um, we were all given a chance. We were all asked to bring a charm pack. Um, and up to two yards of a fabric, and it's just amazing to see what seven different people do um, with the same instructions. And um, so this is what I started. I've gotten um, three of my ten basic rows done. It's all um, dog fabrics. The charm pack I got from my friend Yvette Renee. It was called Cooper. And then the rest of it is um, scraps from other uh, another quilt that I did in the past. I will show um, updates on that quilt as I um, continue to work on it. I mean, it's all cut out, which is really, really good. And then my plan for this, once it is done, is to donate it to a local a pet rescue in our area that we have worked with in the past, um, just so they can um, use it as a fundraiser or something like that. I just um, feel very much led, especially with the charm pack that I chose, um, to donate it and let, you know, let it do some good for somebody. Um, the other project I worked on this week was the As Luck Would Have It puzzle quilt that was done by Fort Worth Quilt Studios. And I have, I have this week's um, is the Irish Chain, and there is going to be 11 more like this. And then tomorrow we will see our final clue um, on how to put it all together and so forth. So I'm really looking forward to that and um, trying to stay up with that one now. So, um, let's move on real quick to scenes from the week. This is just a short video that I put together each week just to show you what I've been up to. Well, I hope you enjoyed the Week in Review video. It's just a quick short video just to um, show you some of the behind the scenes and what I get up to during the week. So let's talk about completed projects. As I was mentioning earlier, it's busy um, work-wise, so I wasn't able to get any quilts done. But I was able to get a couple of little things done for Amanda, who is my wife, and 
Um, if you are at all interested in knitting, definitely check out her podcast. Um, sh- her channel name is Dog Mom Knits, and her link is in the description. But she, um, one of her loves is theatre, and she helps out with the um, school production where she teaches, and she recruited me to help her out with some of the um, props. One of the things that she asked me to do was an ottoman cover, which I have completed and putting a picture up here. And then I also did a small set of like kitchen volants, cur- I think they're called volants curtains. I'm hoping to get some more stuff done in the very near future, so um, we have more completed projects to talk about than works in progress. But, you know, we'll see. Since this is the first podcast of the month, I decided rather than do a separate video um, about my goals and what I completed in February, I was just going to tack it on here, at least for March. I may change my mind in April, who knows. But in February, as you guys know who've been watching for a while, um, my main focus was the bear paw quilt, and I'm hoping to get that quilt top done sometime in March. I've got all the um, border done, the half square triangles done, all I have to do is put them together and then add the sashing, so realistically we should be able to see that one completed in March. I'm also excited to tell you that um, I signed up for the Cotton Cuts Puzzle Mystery Quilt back in December. In, yeah, in, in addition to that, I'm going to complete the um, As Luck Would Have It Puzzle Quilt from Fort Worth Quilt Studio that I showed you earlier. And then I want to really, really, really want to get started on the two, um, or at least one of the two quilts that we talked about last month. Um, this is the one with the pinwheels, with the batiks from Cotton Cuts. And then the solar plate. Ah! Oh. Um, I think, in all honesty, we'll probably... I don't know. Maybe we'll do both. But I don't know for sure. I keep going back and forth even as I'm talking to you right here. So that's it for um, completed projects and the plan for the month. Finally, I wanted to talk real quick about um, recent acquisitions. Um, I didn't go out and make any purchases this week. Last week, I went to the quilt show and spent... You know, more money than I wanted. So I decided to give my um, debit card a rest and not to purchase anything. Um, that pretty much concludes the episode. I hope you enjoyed the um, episode today. If you did, definitely leave me a comment, leave me a like. Um, if you haven't subscribed and you want to, definitely do that as well. And we will see you all again next week. Hopefully, I'll have more content to show you, some more works in progress, um, rather than me just talking about how busy I was and didn't get anything done. So have a great week. Happy sewing. We'll see you next time. Bye.